Question of the day is, what's your biggest regret in life? Uh, mm, shit, my biggest regret. Hooking up with someone on my high school football field. Oh <laughs> There's no fucking way! What's your biggest regret in life? Probably dating some of the people I've dated and then like mentally draining me and putting me down probably and having to pick myself up like from the darkest times probably. That like that was hard. Like that was really hard. Uh, without struggles, there's no strength, so. I don't regret nothing, bro. Everything happened for a reason, you feel me? I don't be the person I am today if I make those like decisions I make, you know, if you feel me like. You don't take losses, you take lessons. Facts, bro. Yeah, I got one simple, one simple answer. Porn. I regret porn, bro. I regret watching porn, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I'm the same way, bro. Oh, God, bro. That shit is terrible. God, bro. I, I'm it's it's worse I'm, than I'm drugs, bro. I'm gonna keep doing it too. I mean, I'm still. My biggest regret is dating a guy younger than me. <laughs> Wait, how old are you? I'm 18. And you? I'm 16. You dated? No. No, I was totally, oh, I was totally lying to them. Because she's younger, then you just say what you just said about the younger. And I was like, yeah, no, 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 I was totally no. lying to those guys. I'm gay as fuck. Happy Pride. I'm being so sad. That's what we do when like guys come up to us. We're like, this is my girlfriend. So then they leave. Yeah. It's either I got a boyfriend or I'm gay. Either, either or yeah. works. Either or works. In order to regret something, that means that you never learn from that mistake. Being at a place of saying, okay, yeah, that was stupid of me. How do I move forward from that? I think the world gets stuck on regret, bro. It doesn't have to be an L, you feel me? It can yeah. be a lesson. Yeah. I believe that a lot of people do wallow in that problem. You ever seen somebody who got a problem, but then they don't do nothing about it, they just complain about it? That victim mentality, yeah. Are you the type of person who gonna move out of that problem and try to find a solution to that problem? Or are you gonna be the type of person who stays in that problem, complains about that problem, and does absolutely nothing as if complaining that's going to help the situation. I'm here with mud, like the the, the muddy yeah. dirt. Yeah, like like water and dirt. I'm here with James. James, yeah, yeah. speak up. Put some confidence in your shit. <laughs> James, got <Yeah>. yeah. <laughs> What's your biggest regret in life? Shit, my biggest regret, that shit was like three days ago. I'm talking about- Three days is crazy. Me and this nigga went on a two man, bro. Speak up, bro. Listen, bro, listen, bro, listen, bro. Listen, 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 I'm talking about me and this nigga James were on a damn two man, right? Damn, who was out that bitch all fucking night trying to fuck? All he didn't night. let us fuck at six o'clock in the morning. All Guess night. what time I got home, bro? I got Damn. home at 10, 9 o'clock in the morning, in the AM, nigga, yes. Crazy. Yes, nigga. Yes. Crazy. Yes. They spent like eight hours and they fuck. <laughs> There's no fucking way. <laughs> my biggest regret, um, hooking up with someone on my high school football field. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a football fun. player was for a reason. They all played. Was it at least good? Eh. Yeah. Ah. Listen, some guys don't know how to work it. Some it guys just don't. What a turf and. It's her, oh, the turf. Turf. Oh, the you did it on the, the black. Yeah, the black. Like, on the field is crazy. What's your biggest regret? Yeah. yeah. My biggest regret: fucking with a bitch who was no good for me. Yeah, you can't fuck yeah. with bitches that are bad. They gotta like do good for you. If they bringing you down, you can't be with them. You can't yeah. fuck with them. If she bringing you down, adios. Yeah. Adios, amigos. You gotta hit the dash like the flash. You know. This bitch. <laughs> if she ain't bringing you peace. Leave! Simple! What's your biggest regret in life? My parents finding out that I do, like, stupid shit. Stupid shit like what? I don't know, like, smoke weed and shit, like, fuck bitches and get money, you know what I'm saying? That's fucking nothing, what? That's normal, that's normal shit. Pimping and shit. <laughs> pimping? Like, like, actually pimping some bitches, for real. Yeah, like, like, tossing them to the gang and shit. Can I join your gang right quick? Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, he's talking about passing around some bitches, I mean, shit. On not doing stuff, you know what I'm saying? If you don't go out and pursue that career, that dream, that passion, you're gonna sit back at like 30 years old with a dead-end job being like, damn, what the, f where, did, where did it go wrong? Where you went wrong, my, my guy? You sat in your house all day, looking at TikTok, you know what I'm saying, jacking off, I mean, what are you doing? People can be 40, 50 years old, and they'll up and down tell you that they regret it, like, working so much. Because they worked so much, they didn't get to spend time with their family. They didn't get to spend time with their, you know, loved ones or whatever and didn't get to do certain things. They focus so much on the dollar, the money. They regret when they're older because it's like, dang, man, you know, if I would, I, I would never get that time back. You, you're going to always regret whenever you're working so hard for something and but you fail to and you neglect your family. You neglect everything that you, you know. You feel what I'm saying? What you're supposed to be, who you're supposed to be chilling with, nurturing, caring for. You feel what I'm saying? If you're not an empathetic person, 
and you only care about physical things, you're going to eventually find zero value in that physical thing. You know what I'm saying? All the value is in everything else. When it comes to money, even me, like, there's, there's no point of having a million dollars, right, with nobody beside you. You wake up in a mansion with nobody. It's like, yeah. what's the what's the fucking point? Right. What's the point, man? What's the point? My biggest regret would be going into online school. When I went to online, I left all my friends, all that. It's just because school was way too, I don't know, pushy for me. The people, it was just too much. And I had really bad social anxiety and all that. So it really didn't go well. And I just regret not having all those moments. I miss them. Social anxiety, what do you mean by that? I mean, you, you're, you're in front of a camera. I mean, you a rapper too? I mean, it's just a lot of people. When it's a lot of people and it's loud, then I start to get anxious. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's gonna all fall into place. I, I, was, I, was, so. I was scared to do this. I don't doubt it. But I, I got the camera in front of me. Yes, the camera sir. in front of me, you know what I'm saying? I just, I wasn't scared no more. I'm just out here doing it now, you feel me? I'm proud of you, bro. I'm proud of you for that. I'm proud of you too, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. that, bro. Oh, God. If she ain't doing you right, you gotta go. You can you can always hit up her friends. Always hit up the friends. Oh, friends. She might, friends, the friends will know what she did wrong yeah. and start doing you better. But not the best friend, because that's fucked up. Yeah. That's if fucked up. the best friend, adios different. on both of them. Yeah, because then they will fuck you up. Yeah. If the best friend comes after you, it's a setup. Yeah. yeah. If it's like one of her like, eh, kind of friends, yeah. then they won't chew. But if it's the best friend, it's a setup. They putting us on game. <laughs> Damn. I know them blue balls was crazy, my nigga. Ain't no fucking way. Eight hours, nigga. I, I couldn't do it. I, could, I couldn't fucking do it. How did you, how did you do it? Like, honestly. Bro, I was ready to get the fuck up out of there. Hey, uh, bro, this been all Ain't fucking no way night. I'm waiting that long, dog. All what the fuck? Night. All fucking night, bro. All night is crazy. Bro. Nah, prop, props to this nigga, bro, because I, I, I couldn't do it, bro. Nigga, they right here. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yo! Right here, Chill. crazy. Right here, crazy. We put yeah. all of them on blast. <laughs> Listen, if she says she want to hook up the first night, dip. Dip, 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 dip. <laughs> and for the ladies, if you say you want to come the first night, adios. <laughs> adios. <laughs> Get in your shit and leave. <laughs> Literally. It's been a pleasure. All right. Yeah. Your name is? Shelby. Shelby. Gina. Name <laughs> that name got I got some trauma with a, uh, with, a, with a girl named Jada. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Well, how is it spelled? J A. D A. It's J A Y D A. Different. 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 All right, it's passable. It's okay, passable. Different. Different. Whole different color too. It's passable. Oh my! <laughs> so I, I had to. I'm sorry. If you enjoyed this, you can get full access to the unedited interviews starting at only five bucks a month on Patreon. You also get access to videos days before anybody else does, so you won't have to wait an entire month for the next upload. There's also different tiers where you get access to things like blooper reels, my full scripts for my videos, and editing tutorials, so you can find out how to edit like yours truly.